BitGo's fundraise, what's going on with Line and Crypto, and the civil token sale. Welcome to Ledger Mix. This is the daily show brought to you by Block Street that catches you up on the latest blockchain news. My name is Kenny Ferreira. Today is October 18th. And in our first story today, during BitGo's Series B fundraising round, we've learned Goldman Sachs and Galaxy Digital have invested $15 million into the company. For those of you who don't know, Galaxy Digital Ventures is headed by ex-hedge fund manager Mike Novogratz, who has since become an integral figure and investor in the cryptocurrency space. With strong Wall Street roots as a former partner at Goldman, much of his focus is on bringing other asset managers to crypto. However, retail and institutional investors often worry about the security of crypto assets, and in a recent interview, BitGo's co-founder and CEO, Mike Belshi, quite rightly said, if you were investing in any other asset class, you're probably not worried about the asset just disappearing. But this one, people still have that fear. We've got to conquer that. By investing in existing companies like BitGo to develop better solutions, and welcoming new companies like Fidelity to the industry, Mike Novogratz and Galaxy Digital are helping pave the way for big money to enter crypto faster than we originally thought. Now for our second story of the day, let's move on and talk about the Japanese messaging company Line. The company was itching to get in on the blockchain industry for the beginning half of 2018, and in July it launched its own exchange called Bitbox, where users can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Tether. Recently, Line's native LINK token was listed on the exchange to be traded against other cryptocurrencies as well. However, Bitbox is pretty limited in options compared to some other exchanges, so LINK will be used to offer trading fee discounts in a similar way that BNB does on Binance. As LINK starts being used and eventually becomes integrated with the entirety of the company's ecosystem, including Line Messenger itself, it could be a way for the average person to acquire cryptocurrency and transact with it potentially without even realizing that they're doing so. Distribution in this way could lead to mass adoption for the token. Speaking of new tokens, moving on to our final story of the day, we're gonna be talking a little bit about Civil, which recently had to refund its token sale after not reaching the minimum target of $8 million. If you haven't heard about Civil already, it's a New York-based blockchain media startup looking to build a new economy for sustainable independent journalism. However, unless you've interacted with or researched the project extensively, that's kind of where most people's knowledge of it falls. And sadly, it's become a little bit of a running joke in the cryptocurrency's online community. And while Civil intends to conduct another token sale soon, this incident in particular shows just how hard this bear market can be to emerge in this industry. While Civil might have raised money easily while ICOs were at their peak in popularity in 2017, the money just simply isn't there in the same way right now. Regardless, we'll be interested in seeing how Civil does in its second go-around, and we wish them luck. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you watch this as a video on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, make sure to follow us and leave us a comment on what you thought about today's show. If you listened as a podcast, leave us an iTunes review because that will also help us out. I'll be with you again soon.